Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, uh, today we will provide just a minor update on our currency as you can see a day from New Year's uh, day, it's holidays, uh, action is not really tremendous on the euro currency and in other currencies uh, that's why we just di will discuss some just one moment which right now has been formed on the euro currency uh, this could become important in the today and tomorrow sessions also guys we are keeping an eye on right now on the Australian dollar and on the Canadian so if patrons there will be formed on Australian dollar we probably will talk to tomorrow since there is uh, it's not really bad setup but it has a bit uh, greater time scale uh, time frame so it's not necessary to speak on immediately on it so we could uh, delay it until tomorrow so we'll take a look at, it at, the, at the eve of the New Year's sessions well uh, right now on the euro currency on euro, on euro guys uh, you probably remember what we have said yes this is right now we there are two different patterns uh, forming so uh, first of all we thought that could become the hand shoulders uh, this pattern hasn't been erased totally yet but based on the action that we see on the top of the right shoulder um, it really could become the sign of the failure so this is not normal development uh, for hand shoulders pattern at the, si at the same time guys we probably have to make some discount on the thin market so right now as you know the activity are really uh, very small and uh, market very often change the direction even on the impact of the very small trading volumes so it's right right now it's the toy in the hands of the speculators and the even not big speculators so um, that's why it's uh, right now market is more unpredictable than uh, in normal conditions when the liquidity are much greater than right now so on the daily chart guys we are here have some grabbers and uh, first of all I would like to say that this pattern th this candle is not the bearish grabber because for, to become the grabber market should have uh, should has uh, the same trend previously as will be formed under the grabber but here guys since this candle has closed above the MACD predictor it means that here we have the confirmed bullish trend since this candle shows the bearish trend this is just the changing of the trend to the bearish side but not this is not the bearish grabber so for instance if this candle uh, would close below the MACD that will, will be the grabber this could be the grabber because uh, this is also bearish trend but market is trying to shift trend to the bullish but right now this candle is just a shifting trend to the bearish side so uh, on the 4 hour time frame chart guys we have we were, we were discussing this butterfly yes the retracement that we have talked about has happened but it has happened a bit faster than we thought so uh, the butterfly patient is still valid this is invalidation point so in fact the, the, the invalidation point of the butterfly con uh, con coincides with the breakout of the neckline of the possible hand shoulders so it's really uh, obvious and uh, reasonable that uh, if market will start to action with the hand shoulders it, it, it will simultaneously erase the butterfly that's normal uh, but this action guys uh, not really as I said not really typical for hand and shoulders patient so let's keep watching right now on the hourly chart uh, market has reached the level that we have discussed yesterday is the potential target of the retracement take a look we said that market stands at the resistance this FIB level on the forward time frame chart from the head we have the divergence and we said probably market should show retracement down uh, this is the level that to watch for the area between the weekly pivot point and take a look confidence support it's 10916 10919 area that has happened market has dropped right to it stopped here 
and right now trying to show the bounce. So if you have taken the long, since market right now is starting to move up, you could move your stop to the break even, <coughs> or maybe to wait a bit more uh, when this market will pass. Additionally, uh, 15, 20 pips to the upside, slightly higher. You could do this. Just keep an eye on it because market right now is very thin, and with the first signs of the possible return back and the breakout, is better to close position. So. Uh, theoretically, you also could play stop here, uh, but if market will give you the chance to move the stop to the break even, then probably you will get it, since market already is a consistent above this area that we have specified. Uh, it's better to place the stop on the break even because m mostly due to the same reasons, the market is very thin and uh, it really could be a very un surprising. Uh, action could happen, surprising swings to the upside, it's a bit very fast, could be um, due to the speculative activity. Um, that's why it's better to protect it with the break-even, but uh, if you c if you do not want to place it at the break-even, at break -even, you could place stop somewhere in this area, because uh, although invalidation point of the bottom line right here, but here guys we have the weekly pivot support one, and here we have the 618 FIP support. If market will break through the confluence, and will pass for the weekly pivot point. This very, this is strong support, guys. If market will break it down, what the chance that market will stop here? And that's why uh, it's probably will be this market will, will trying to move up here from this area. You could probably trying to close position with the um, minor risk, minor loss. Initially, you could play stop below this area. So it's different opportunities. This depends on the style of your trading. Uh, so I usually try when I, when I get the position on some strong support, when the market passes to the upside, so 30 approximately 30 pips, I'll try to move the stop to the break even. When I trade on the 4-hour hourly chart, uh, initial stop yes could be placed here. Now all that I could say that just to keep watching. So since we we've got entry point, market's trying to move higher right now. It's challenging the weekly pivot point. If we will get lucky, the market really will continue move higher. That's great, and probably we will we will get our butterfly or something of that sort. If market will fail and start to return, it's better to close position, and uh, probably it makes sense to not open it till the New Year's uh, New Year's Day. So because it me it seems that um, if market will not able to show any directional action today, um, it's probably hardly it will show any directional action till the holidays will end. So a probably direction will be taken only on the next year. If uh, market really could could just r remain in some range until the holidays will end. So that's why uh, it's probably so today's will be the last trading session on the euro currency uh, based on the setup that we have discussed. Well, uh, so that's all. That's been said. So if you're taking the long, keep watching. First return, if market will return at big down, close at the break even or tight stop. And uh, if market will pass through this area, probably better to, to not take any position. If we will get lucky, the market will continue move higher. Well, that's great. Keep just uh, you could keep the position. Also move the stop to the break even and watch the movie. What will happen? <laughs>